Hello, I'm Rachel Zemberry, Chair of the Arlington Redevelopment Board, also known as the ARB, and I will be taking you through Warren Article 20 for the 2020 Special Town Meeting. Article 20 is a zoning bylaw amendment submitted by the ARB to address alternatives to existing parking requirements in the B3 and B5 districts, which cover building blocks in East Arlington, Arlington Center, and Arlington Heights, Arlington's primary business districts. The intent of the article is to encourage business development by removing unnecessary barriers that exist within the zoning bylaws. The zoning bylaw currently allows the ARB and the Zoning Board of Appeals, also known as the ZBA, to evaluate and make a determination through their respective special permit processes to allow for parking reductions in business, industrial, and multifamily zoning districts. This amendment would provide the ARB or ZBA with a new option to reduce parking requirements to as low as zero only in the B3 and B5 districts where the businesses do not have the ability to create new parking. The encouragement of business development in our main business districts aligns with the town's master plan, which was adopted in 2015, the Arlington Heights Neighborhood Action Plan, and policies being discussed in the development of Connect Arlington, the town's sustainable transportation plan. The main points of this article, as indicated on these slides, include to address the challenge that may, many businesses face in creating new parking on existing lots when parking is either unnecessary, infeasible, or available through other options by providing special permit granting authorities with the ability to reduce the requirement to provide parking to as low as zero. Multimodal transportation options are available in these districts. To allow for the ability to reduce parking requirements for business districts as low as zero in these two districts. This would be provided as an additional option available to the ARB and ZBA for specific, specifically appropriate, not as a de default. And to proactively address an issue that can hinder business growth and expansion, the amendment is limited to business uses. As background, the B3 and B5 zoning districts make up three major business districts. Capitol Square in East Arlington, Arlington Heights, and Arlington Center. There are 109 properties located in these zoning districts. The maps shown here identify the location of the parcels in the B3 and B5 zoning districts. There are no properties zoned B3 or B5 outside of these areas. By definition in the zoning bylaws, the B3 and B5 district activities are oriented towards pedestrian traffic and in the case of B5 centralized parking. It's important to note the relatively small scale of these parcels with coverage of the lot at or near 100% in many cases. Additionally, most of these properties are listed as architecturally significant structures on the local historic property inventory and in Arlington Center are also part of an historic district. In these two zoning districts, it is often impractical, infeasible, and unnecessary to create parking in a business. In the current zoning bylaws, section 6.1.5 allows parking reductions with consideration of shared parking, offsite parking, and transportation demand management, or TDM measures. These can help address employee parking as well as offsite customer and visitor parking. A parking analysis or impact assessment can also be part of the board's review process. However, currently the zoning bylaws only allow the special permit granting authority to reduce to 25% of what is required in the required parking tables. Existing parking requirements in Arlington zoning bylaw can create a situation where the space required for offsite parking for a development or change of use can be almost as large as the use itself. The town bylaw places a priority on preservation of buildings. Lastly, the current supply of on-street and centralized parking is often sufficient to meet or even exceed demand. This bylaw does not change on street parking or ADA accessibility requirements. In summary, this amendment supports a number of the town's strategic plans, aligns with the definition of pedestrian oriented activities in the B3 and B5 zoning district and eliminates a significant barrier to the development of new businesses in Arlington's three main business districts. We hope that you will vote favorable action as recommended by the redevelopment board. Thank you.